What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Nas, aka Thesis himself, and today we have got the Smock Meg Grip. Now look, it's been quite a gap since the last Smock product I reviewed. I think it was the Prince, the Smock Prince stick stick kit. And it, uh, to tell you the truth, it was kind of, it was short-lived. It was decent for what it was. And then I got my hands on the iJoy Saber kit and figured that was way fucking better. It's just the, the simple truth. Now I have a, I have a bias against Smock. I'm not a huge fan of Smock. They don't make products that withstand or can withstand the everyday abuse that you see in manual labor. For example, working in the shop and solo windows and fucking doing decks. Anything that's along those lines, mechanics, whatnot. I haven't had a positive experience with Smock products, especially when it comes to stress testing in a long time. This one's withstood some fucking drops, don't get me wrong. This one's been so, you know, semi-impressive so far. I wouldn't call it perfect, I wouldn't say I trust it, but we're gonna delve into that in a second. So with that being said, my ninja kiddies, hit my ass up on patreon.com slash thesis himself. Hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, all at thesis himself. All social media, I am there, I am available. I ain't hard to find mother truckers. Bitch, it's okay, it's mother truckers. Now with that being said, let's go and get up close and personal with the Smock Tech Mag Grip Kit. <clears throat> My ninjas, before we begin, I want to give a huge birthday shout out to two of my ninjas on the Patreon page, Black China and Jordan C. Darrowin. Both y'all ninja kiddies, I want you to have the most happiest of birthdays. Be safe, and I wish you many more. One of the go. <clears throat> Bitch, it's okay, some of the truck. It's not peep game, son. Today, we have got the Smock Mag Grip Kit, which is a mouthful. That's what they want you to think. Hashtag use condoms and protection. You feel me? So, real quick, I am sickies, but fuck that. I don't believe in being sickies. All I can think of when I say that is the viewers going, Oh, does your finger hurt? Do you have a little fever? Yes, motherfucker, I got the man flu. Fuck that shit. We, uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get on with it. Now, real quick, mother truckers, I don't want to get too deep into this mod for the simple fact that I don't trust Smock, and I'm just gonna be honest with it. I, I don't trust Smock as much as as I want to, and I don't trust Smock as much as I would like to. I used to trust Smock for my daily vape. My daily vape was the TFV4 way back in the day. I still think it's a solid tank, the TFV8 as well. The thing is, is that the quality control on their coils specifically has gone downhill. There's a shit ton of evidence to show that. I've not heard from many people in the manual labor industry, for example, who have um, you know positive experiences with Smock. Perfect example would be their customer service. If you aren't anybody special, then good luck getting a hold of them. It's basically that simple, and I don't want it to be the case. I wish it wasn't the case, especially because they overall make really pretty looking devices. But if I'm being completely honest, they seem to be recycled on a non-stop basis in terms of their chipsets, in terms of their electronics, in terms of their solders, in terms of all that kind of stuff. But with that being said, I purchased this from VaporDNA.com. If you want to do the same thing by supporting the channel, you just hit the link in the description, and that way I do get a cut, like a 10% of uh, your final purchase. So with that being said, Kitties, hit that link. I do purchase this. I did purchase this mod by myself, but with my money. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Bam. This is the box right here. Gorgeous. This is beautiful packaging, if you ask me. Inside and out, upside down, you do have the scratch and sniff sticker right there on the other side. Pop this out right here. Gorgeousness beautiful so first things we're gonna see this is actually inside the device itself this is the 18650 adapter this is a 21700 as well as a 2700 compatible device now it does limit it to 85 watts if you are using the 18650 adapter though i don't think that's a big deal granted you know it's a single battery system that's kind of what you're going to expect it is standard fare in terms of smock tech warnings and uh, uh, manuals. Of course, we do have battery safety. They do have to put that in, not for legality reasons, but to cover their ass, basically. Bam. And then, of course, you have your smock verification. Who the fuck is cloning smock products? I can't see that ever happening. Bam, skis. This is where your mod sits right there. Um, one of the quality things I'm telling you guys about, man, this is little things that matter to me. When this was sitting in there, just like that, no problem. I picked it up. Look at this, this extra open cell foam that's in there. The tank was sitting in there just like that no cause for concern necessarily but there's also really no pride in packaging when i see something just sitting in there like that take the time to pop this little piece of foam out that doesn't necessarily need to be there this is something that was cut out for a reason place it in there the way it's supposed to be and it just looks nicer to the person who opens it up now i know that these guys are pumping out thousands of pieces a day but you have to cover your ass in situations like that if i owned a company if for example when my rda comes out if and when that happens I want to make sure that the packaging not only looks beautiful, and I, I know that I'm sure that I'm going to take a bit of a cut um, in terms of profit, but I'm okay taking a cut in profit as long as it translates into quality, especially in the unboxing form. I want the shit to be beautiful when you unbox it. You feel me? Oh, guys, set that aside. You do get extra coil. This is the one that I did not have. A, I, I did not have a, a solid experience with the dual. Uh, the dual chimney, the dual coil in this. Only reason being is because I, I've mentioned this in the past, and I'm going to say it again. 
I don't tend to get the same flavor on these smaller chimney, these smaller dual coil or triple quadruple coil uh, setups that I do with a single coil. The only exception to the rule that I can think of is the Freemax Firelook Firelock coils as well as the Freemax uh, mesh coils. Not the mesh, pro, not the mesh, but the mesh pro coils. Those are the only exceptions I can think of that I really enjoyed the, the dual chimneys. In fact, it's my daily vape. If you look inside here, this is a 60 day old coil that I'm running in this Freemax Firelook Firelock. And this one right here is the triple. It looks disgusting in there because it is. It's more of an experiment. I wanna see how long these coils last. So far it's been just over 60 days and I'm fucking still loving it. There is a couple of burnt hits here and there, but that's gonna be expected. Beautiful. Now, so this coil here I did have several of and I did, this is the one that I didn't use because it was still in the pack. I wanted to make sure it looked fresh, just like that. You do get a secondary glass tank. I guess by definition would be TPD compliant for the simple fact that it is two milliliters. Five milliliter on the bubble tank that's pre-installed right there, which you guys do know I prefer the bubble tanks. Goodie bag, of course you get your cock rings of all sorts. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna talk about this grommet in a second, but look again, the packaging on the closed cell foam. There's no care, no caution. Look at that, it is, that is as garbage as it gets. It's not even set in there correctly. Little things like that to me are indicative of the quality of the device. That's just my opinion. That's just what I'm stating. If you disagree, you disagree and I get it. That's why I tend to stay away from Smock Tech products. This cable's a decent size. This cable's just around two foot, maybe just under. I wish it was a bit longer. Again, someone had tried to contest me and say that longer coils or longer cables don't charge as fast. That's not the case at all. Um, you're talking about speed of electricity, which is essentially speed of light. Motherfucker, it's gonna, if it's set up to charge at 2.4 amps, that's set up to charge at 2.4 amps. It's that simple. Doesn't matter if it's three foot, six foot, or 10 foot. Um, and speaking of which, this bad boy does charge relatively quickly. Um, I, th I believe it's running at 2.4 amps. Don't quote me on that. I'm gonna put the actual number right there. My biases aside, I've heard nonstop negative shit about Smock Tech over the past year and a half, two years. And I, I gotta admit that I came into this assuming this was gonna be a garbage setup. And now I beat the shit out of it. Let me go ahead and show you the footage right here. Bam. What you think about it? And it probably sucks. We'll see how it works. Now that's just one of many purposeful drops. I've dropped this thing so many times on purpose that it, it blew my mind. I couldn't believe that the thing is still working. So with that being said, some of my biases began to wear off and I was like, maybe this is a solid setup. There are a couple of quirks here and there that I do wanna get into, but that's just gonna be me being nitpick, nitpicky. The first foremost thing you gotta do is hit this button just like a real pistol. Bam skis, there it is. This impressed the hell out of me. This is metal. As to what kind of metal, I'm not sure, but it feels like a zinc aluminum or a zinc sort of sit up. Um, I don't wanna say it's steel because it's not what I would call heavy. It's extremely light. You will see one, two, three, and four star driver screws in the bottom, which I'm gonna think. Um, I'm hoping that the Loctite, did, though I haven't seen Loctite used very often on mods, it feels so set up or so tight that I don't think this is gonna loosen up over time. I do like to see stuff like that, it's impressive. Right here, you're gonna see the notch come out and this notch right here is where the spring actually sits. We're gonna hear it click, just like that. That click is ever so satisfying. Hit that button, she comes out. Now be careful with this because I've done this a couple of times. I've popped the battery in, giant minus on the bottom, which I do like to see, as well as the plus and minus on the exterior, which is gorgeous. It's very foolproof. Mother fudge. There we go. Now watch. Even if that, I, even though I press it in, it'll stay in, but it will not work. Push it till you hear and feel the click. Just like that. Like I said, very satisfying. You're gonna see the Smock logo pop up. Show you the version that it's on, which this is firmware updatable, as far as I understand. Throw this bad boy on there. Nice and smooth for the price. It's not what I would call smooth overall, but it's smooth for the price and smooth for it being smock tech. Hit that trigger finger five times. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing. One, two, three, four, five. There, now she works. Little stuff like that that I've begun to notice over the time uh, that I've had it. Again, little things. I'm not sure if that's indicative of how long it's gonna last. It does ask you which one you've got, 18650 or 21700. Now I wanna do an experiment with you guys right here, right now. You push and hold the trigger for you to select. Hit that button. 
Now what I wanted to do live for you guys, I haven't done this. This is something I thought about beforehand and I figured I'll do it on camera. Is I want to test it with an 18650 just to see if you can select 21700. Let's go ahead and grab that adapter. Bam. So real quick, we're gonna throw in a Home Life by Home Tech battery inside the adapter. Positive down. Let's go ahead and pop this bitch in there. Nice and clicked. See that smock logo pop up. One, two, three, four, five. Turn her on. Let's go and see if we get that selection. Mag grip. Let's go ahead and hit 21700. So let's bring it up to 100 watts. So you can bypass the 85 watt limit or ceiling that they place on it for 18650s by just selecting which battery you want to use. Now, I'm not necessarily certain on why they even did that. Like, so what's the purpose? of actually having that ceiling. I understand, yes, for safety reasons as well, um, as for you know battery life situations, but if it's able to bypass that easily, why even have that shit implemented? I wish there was a way to actually let the chipset know that you're using this adapter. There's gotta be, there's gotta be a way. In the same way that in the bottom here, you're gonna see this little schlega band, that little spring, to let, the bat, uh, to let the mod know that the battery slot is actually inserted into the mod. There's gotta be a way to do that. Let's go and turn this bitch on. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and select 21700. Of course, even though that we have the 18650, push and hold the trigger. Let's bring it up to 100 watts. This is gonna burn the fuck out of this coil, so I'm just doing this for science. Let's go and do it. Still rocking at 100 watts, no problem. That hits beautifully at 100 watts. So I'll pop this bad boy out real quick, just like that. I want you guys to hear the rattle that's with the 2700 size battery. This is something I'm not a fan of. Don't like that shit. In my opinion, you should add an adapter or a sleeve rather for a 2700 size battery. You can't hear it when it's inside of the mod, which is always a good thing. One, two, three, four, five. And of course she's gonna come, ah, oh, you motherfucker. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we fucking go. <clears throat> so again, Little things like that weird me out. There is no selection for 2700. I wish there was to be more specific on which battery that you're using. Um, but basically the only thing that that selection is doing is limiting the wattage and you can bypass that by selecting the, the incorrect battery. Not that I recommend it, I don't. I'm just saying that is a possibility. All right, mother lickers, let's go and hit that 21700 status. Again, working like a charm. Now the way that it feels, um, I'm, I'm gonna be controversial on this. I know everyone's digging the way that it feels. Not a huge fan of it. I love how comfortable that this mag grip is. Now when it's in my pocket, I take it out the same way that I've got this say sitting just right there. I couldn't, I couldn't just walk up and grab this. I had, I would have to actually think about or look at it. So if, if I had, if it was completely dark, this is on my bed stand. I walk up, I grab it. I'm like, oh shit, I can't just grab it and take a hit. I have to find this placement, hit the button, then take a hit. With this mod, with any box mod that's square, this is why I'm such a fan of box mods. You can grab it from any direction, any angle, and it, you can hit it from this side, you can hit it from this side. You can hit it with this finger, this finger, this finger, doesn't matter, it's gonna hit. This one is specific to one style of stance, or one style of grabbing it. You can't grab it from the reverse and take a hit without it being really uncomfortable. So again, if you're okay with this set, with the setup and the way that it feels, that's amazing for you, that's good for you. For me, myself personally, not a fan of how one-dimensional this is again just my personal you know feelings on it the paint on it is absolutely gorgeous it does remind me of the vape teal captain from a few months back i'll go ahead and show a picture of that now i'm not sure what's up with this uh, beautiful shiny chromatic color that people are doing but i like it i like it a lot and i know that i've said in the past that it cheapens it up and i still feel that way it cheapens it up quite a bit but I'm surprised at how durable this paint has been. I've dropped this time and time again on concrete. I've dropped it on the hardwood floors. I haven't seen a scratch it. I mean, almost, almost no scratching at all. So huge kudos to Smock for taking the time on doing that correctly. Now real quick, someone had mentioned um, these little grippy portions. These aren't grip. They're, there's no grip to them whatsoever. I have real pistols and I use real grips. Let's go and pop this. And I use real grips, look at that. I didn't even notice this was on there. Fuck. I use real grips and uh, they're extremely helpful in shooting scenarios. They're extremely helpful in holding any device, any type of pistol grip device. These are not grips. They're literally the exact same feeling as this. It's just smooth, shiny. Now the button itself is very plasticky, very uh, non-intuitive in terms of how it feels. So you can actually hit this up here and it clicks twice. If you hit it down here, it clicks once. I don't like that. I want this to be a one way click, meaning there's only one spot where you can click it and it's gonna click. I like it when I'm holding like this. If you push on the top, it's it's got this weird like 
little crunch factor. Not a fan of that, that's just me again being picky. Now of course this is a moving part. If you hit this button right here a million times, eventually it's gonna wear out. Do I think that that's gonna be a problem? Absolutely not. This chipset and this mod will not outlast that spring that's in this button. I do like this button though. Look at this button, it's metal, it's beautifully laser engraved, and it's got that hex screw right there to protect it. God bless it, they fucking killed it on that in my opinion. Look at this chameleon on the inside. That's gorgeous. Bitch, it's okay, some other truckers. Now with that being said, let's just go ahead and rock this chipset real quick just to show you guys the options. But I'll tell you right now, it's very standard fare for it being smock deck. If you're here and you're just learning about uh, vaping, this is gonna be some simple stuff for you guys. Um, let me go ahead and see. This thing has your basic options you see on every mod. One, two, three. Show you the mode, puff, settings, power, mode. Back to mode, you hit this right here, push long hold on the trigger button. Starts off at wattage, that's where I like to keep it. And then of course you have your temperature control the rest of the way through. If you're in wattage, you push and hold the trigger button, hard, soft, normal. I usually keep mine at hard. And then one, two, three, you wanna get into the puffs, push long hold on the trigger. Already 201 maximum puffs, never. I've reset this already once or twice. I keep it at never, puff reset, Hit yes, one, two, three, back in the menu setting. Let's go into settings. Stealth, which is gonna, of course, shut off your uh, your lights. Contrast, that's your screen, how you're viewing it. Adjust ohms, that's something you shouldn't have to do unless you're in temperature control. And even if you do it in temp control mode, it's really not something I even suggest doing. Download, that's gonna be your firmware update. And then of course you have power to shut the device off. And that's it, it's about as simple as it gets. Now in terms of the tank, I'm gonna show you guys something that I don't compliment very many companies on, but I'm gonna compliment the fuck out of Smock Deck. Now, Smock Deck has had a slide to fill open system for as long as I can remember. What I've never seen before is the rubber grommet be on top. That's something I think worked out with this tank. And then on top of that, they used a locking mechanism. Hint, hint, iJoy. Hint, hint, every other fucking company that uses slide to fill. Hint, hint to Freemax. Look at this. Open, close, it's locked. It doesn't disrupt that vacuum on the inside. The cool shit about this too as well is like I said, there's no rubber grommet here to keep and soak juice up. Granted, there is gonna be a bit of condensation, a bit of juice on this, but it's nothing that's too much to handle. You pop this back closed, it's locked. You pop it on and she works. It's that simple. 510, it's bland, it's plain Jane, but it's nice and big. That's what I like to see as well as a fucking spring-loaded 510 pin. Thank you, Smock Tech. And I can't believe I'm saying that shit. I'm gonna give Smock Tech, uh, Smock Tech kudos on that. I like the way that that feels. I like the way that that looks. Flavor on the tank, subpar. Airflow on the tank, subpar and annoying. Go ahead and take a listen. Oops. New coil, we'll go ahead and say yes. That fluctuated, that was at, at 0.18. Not a fan of the way it sounds. Flavor on it is decent. Like I said though, I would call it subpar for my menthol if I was gonna use um, any liquid in here, I'm gonna say I would rock a fruit. A fruit in here has been rocked beautifully. The fruit that I get off of this tank specifically is excellent. My menthol, on the other hand, the sweetness does come through, but it's a lot less of the mint, and that's kind of what I look for in my sub -ohm tanks. Anytime that I test a sub -ohm tank, I use a specific menthol. My personal favorite is Ice Dudes by, uh, or excuse me, Vape Dudes by Ice Ice. Fucking damn it. Ice Ice by Vape Dudes. There you go. I'm not sponsored by them, uh, though I wish I fucking was. I rock this shit nonstop. This is my daily vape. Mm. Bitch, it's okay, smother truckers. Now, with that being said, let's go and bring it back to regular view, son. Mm. The Smack Tech Mag Rip Kit is this. It's confusing. I know a lot of y'all feel like this is a highly anticipated kit. The thing is though, is if you work with your hands, if you're someone who, who's not in a cubicle necessarily, not that there's anything wrong with it, just saying. If you're outdoors, especially during the winter time, I don't trust, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time for me to trust Smock Tech with their products. They call this innovation. I don't, I couldn't tell you what's innovative about it. The TFV8 baby is, Mm. It's not as good as the original TFV8. It's just not the, TF the TFV4 is still one of the best tanks I ever had. I still have several of them. I still have a whole pack of coils just in case shit goes down. That's what it used to be one of my daily vapes. I love that tank. Um, with that being said, one of the fa one of my favorite parts about this whole whole ensemble is going to be the tank's locking slide to open mechanism. Now, of course, that is not new. Smock Tech's been doing that for a long time. I wish other companies would implement that shit. And to tell you the truth, the flavor on the coils, I keep seeing other people saying how amazing it is. I'm not blown away. I'm simply not blown away by this tank or these coils. Specifically, uh, the, the single chimney, single coil is not, 
as solid as it should be. With the amount of money that Smock Tech makes, look, if I'm a company and I'm bringing in so much money that I'm, that I'm overshadowing the entire industry, I'm gonna put as much money as possible into the R&D of any given device. The research and development is so important. When you have airflow that sounds like a fucking wind tunnel, there's something that's gotta be done about that. Now, I'm not saying that it's not you know, decent. It's a, it's solid airflow, it's not super annoying, but I will say that for the amount of money that they put into, these, in a, in, into this company, the amount of money that goes into this company, they could take a little bit more time with the airflow, the way that it sounds. They could take a little bit more time, just a little fucking bit with, uh, with the flavor of the quills. And then this whole portion pisses me off. The whole drip tip situation, I don't like proprietary drip tips. I have an entire collection of 510 drip tips, 810 drip tips, so on and so forth drip tips. Uh, and I don't have anything that fucking fits this. And it reminds me of the original Fire Luke Fire Lock version. The Freemax Fire Luke Fire Lock version, I have to cut off the tip. I literally have to saw off the tip in order for me to fit a 510. I can fit a 510 in it, but it's got this weird chimney portion right here that I've got to saw off. And I'm assuming that I'm have to do the same thing with this one if I wanted to keep the tank. However, I'm not gonna keep the tank. In fact, I'm gonna give this whole kit away on the Patreon page uh, for the simple fact that I'm not, I'm just not a huge fan of the of the size, the pistol grip. Like I was saying, the ergonomics of it are great for when you're holding it. It's not a good pocket piece. It's definitely not something where you can just pick up and hit the button, especially if you pick it up backwards or sideways. You have to hold it in one specific way. With any other device, here's a fucking Shogun. With any other device, hold like this, hole like that, it's gonna fire no problem and it feels comfortable either way. This one is one and done, it's a one trick pony. You've got exactly one way to hold it and that's it. Now that's not really a complaint, that's just more of a concern. That's more of something that I kinda dealt with on a daily basis with it. You may not have the same issues. Uh, this whole portion, that is dope. These whole side grips, it's not very grippy. This is a very, how would you say that? It's a. It's reminded of the Vape Tio, it cheapens it up. I understand that it looks really fancy and looks really cute in pictures on Instagram, but in reality, I think it cheapens it up. I'm just very careful and very cautious on where I stand with Smock Tech and where I want to judge Smock Tech's products. I'm gonna I'm gonna start purchasing more. I purchased this from VaporDNA.com. I don't remember what I paid. I think I paid 80 bucks for it. Um, and I'm gonna continue. See, I just realized that this was able to stay that whole time. Look at that. It's in. It's not falling out but it's not actually in, there it is. You have to hear that click. I'm, I'm very cautious, I'm very careful. I'm gonna start purchasing more and more Smock Tech products just to stay up on what they're making. They're a giant part of our industry and it hurts the channel for me not to be reviewing them, but I've just, I didn't wanna waste the money. Why give a review to something I know is gonna break? So with that being said, I'm giving them a second chance. I'm giving them an opportunity to redeem themselves and I hope that they do, I genuinely do. So with that being said, my Ninja Kitties, the 510 connection seems decent, though I've heard some people say that uh, the 510 does loosen up. If that's the case, I will do a revisit of this device. But before I give it away, um, if that happens. I don't necessarily think it's gonna happen with this one in particular, so we'll kinda see, we'll keep an eye on it. Bitch, it's okay, some other trucker. So on thesis is patented finger of copability scale. If you are dying for an ergonomic device like this, that's a pistol grip specifically, with an okay tank, I would say it's a solid seven. And it could right now be even more than that, but it's just Smock's reputation lately. Their quality control on their, on their coils, their quality control on the devices, and their fucking customer service has not been, you know, spectacular. Now granted, they're a giant company, it's hard to have, you know, if you have a lot of inquiries, it's hard to go through that, but you can hire more people if you have that much money, you feel me? Bitch, it's okay, some other truckers. Now with that being said, I wanna tell y'all that I appreciate y'all for vaping with Thesis. It is your boy Thesis, I'm out. <laughs> Now fuck the small talk, let's go ahead and get up close to personal with the Smack Mag Grip. Did I just snort? Bitch, it's okay, some other truckers. Now with that being said, let's go and get up close to personal with the Smack Mag Grip Kit. Fucking A, that's a mouthful. That's a tongue twister and a half. Smock Tech Mag Grip Kit. Coming to the Mini Mini Yap Mini 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 Tracks in Minnesota. Smock Tech Mag Grip Kit. That's right, I think so, right? Yeah, Mag Grip, whatever, we got it. It's okay, some other truckers. Now, with that being said, let's go and get up close to personal with the Smock Tech Mag Grip Kit. Mm. That's more of a mouthful than a porn star on her knees. <laughs>